Good morning, church. I'm Sarah Grant, and I work with NextGen in worship. And today's great verse is Amos 5, 24. And you guys will know it well, I'm sure. Um, it says, but justice, let justice roll on like a river, righteousness like a never failing stream. And that's just my version right there. But we've also heard this in a very similar way. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I immediately go to Martin Luther King Jr. speech, um, I Have a Dream, um, when he says, we will not be satisfied until justice rolls down like waters and righteousness like a mighty stream. And he wanted nothing less. He wanted nothing less than equality. He wanted nothing less than um, justice for people who had been oppressed. And that is the same voice as what Amos was doing for the people um they were not happy about it let me tell you um but he is i mean there's a lot of laments and calls to repentance and woes in this book um to the people who are of privilege so when he's saying you have gained power by oppressing others you have gained a voice by silencing other voices what does that mean for us as we read this we <clears throat> For me, I know that when I see um, an injustice, there's something that wells up inside of me that wants it to be made right, right away. Um, I don't know if you guys can relate, but that is um, something that's just deep within me. Um, and I know that God has placed it in me um, because I know that that's his heart. We see it in Amos and we see it all over the, the Bible. Um, we see it in um, the story of Moses leading the, the slaves out of, um, of Egypt. We see it all over. We see what Jesus did, that he came for the brokenhearted, that he came for the oppressed, that he came for the people that didn't have a voice and they didn't have a seat at the table and he gave them one and he invited them to dinner and he said, I want to dine with you. So as we look at this as a Jesus community with Jesus eyes and a kingdom vision, what does it look like for us today to stand with people that might not have a voice, that might be oppressed, that might not feel like they have a seat at the table? What does that look like? And if you're someone who has been in this situation, um, has suffered on behalf of, um, with somebody else gaining power over you, if you are that person, I just want this to be an encouragement to you that this is God's heart for all people to feel like they are included, that they are all the same in God's eyes, um, that everyone is made in the image of God. So let this be an encouragement. Let this be um, a call to action. Let this be um, part of our daily prayer of how we can live out the gospel today. Be blessed, church, and we'll see you tomorrow for another Daily Hope. Thank you.